Good morning, boys and girls. With Father's Day coming up, we wanted to read a couple stories regarding Father's Day, but I want everybody to know that all families are unique, and not every family has a dad, and that's okay. Not every family has a mom, and that's okay too. Some families are just um, boys and girls with grandparents, so families look all different kinds of ways. And even though we're reading stories about Father's Day, um, you can you can give a special shout out to any man that's in your family. Maybe it's a cousin, maybe it's an uncle, maybe it's a big brother who's been helping you with your homework this whole time. Or maybe it's just your mom. Maybe your mom does everything. She is the person who, you know, makes your food for you, tucks you into bed at night. She is amazing. So maybe you just want to give her an extra special thank you and make your crafts and your writing activities this week for that person. With that being said, I hope you enjoy the story. The story we're going to read today is called Daddy's Little Girl by Ronnie Randall and Esther Cork. Daddy's Little Girl. Emily lived with her mommy and daddy and her baby brother. Emily was a very busy little girl, but daddy was always there to help. Daddy and Emily read books together and played games too. Sometimes Emily let Daddy win. On Wednesday afternoons, Emily went to ballet. She had a pink leotard and tights and pink ballet shoes. Daddy always took Emily to ballet on his bike. He stayed to watch with the other mommies and daddies. That's my little girl, he would say proudly when it was Emily's turn to dance. The next day, Daddy put small training wheels on Emily's new bike. Then he showed her how to get on and off the bike and push the pedals with her feet. Daddy stayed close by while Emily rode up and down the sidewalk. Before long, Emily could ride her bike really well. One day, Daddy said, I think it's time to take the training wheels off. Emily wasn't sure, but Daddy promised he'd be right there beside her. Daddy held on to the back of the seat while Emily pedaled the bike. It feels wobbly, Emily said. You're doing just fine, said Daddy. I won't let you fall. What a good dad. Emily rode all the way down the street. I think you can let go, Daddy, she said. I already have, Emily, or Daddy called. Emily was riding her bike all by herself with no training wheels. She felt very proud. That's my girl, said Daddy. He was proud too. Whee! At the weekend, Emily helped Daddy take the special seat off his bike. He attached it to Mommy's bike. They all went on a bike ride in the park. Emily's little brother rode in the special seat, and Emily rode right be beside her Daddy. When they got home that evening, Daddy helped Emily put her bike away in their garage. Well, he asked, how did my little girl enjoy her first bike ride in the park? It was great, Daddy, said Emily. After dinner, Emily and Daddy drew some pictures. Daddy, will I always be your little girl? Emily asked. Yes, said Daddy, always. Although I can ride a grown-up bike like yours and Mommy's, asked Emily. Yes, said Daddy, even then. No matter how big you will get, you will always be my little girl. Emily was glad. The end. And that is true all the time. Even when you are big, you're still going to be your daddy's little boy or little girl. And the same for your mommy. You're always going to be their little baby. So check out the document and see what the follow-up question is. Have a good day, guys. Bye.